Hello, my gorgeous Capricorns. This is a reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. I am Rose Warrior, your High Priestess today with the Capricorn message. I'm also a Capricorn Stellium as well. So there's definitely going to be some downloads strictly from Spirit, Holy Spirit here. And speaking of Spirit, I'm going to start off with prayer here. Holy Spirit and ancestors of the highest white light here, as I shuffle the cards, I ask that you please guide us, guard us, and lead us with the light, with the love, with the truth. Us Capricorns love the ultimate truth here. Don't sugarcoat nothing, spirit. What do we have for Capricorn? Wow, Capricorn, you're stepping into your power at this time. High position here. I'm going to snap three fingers so we can begin. King of Wands here is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You either are dealing with the King of Wands or this is the energy I'm getting more so that you are in. You're stepping into the limelight and people are starting to see that the sun shines and hits your skin different. You're glowing is what I'm hearing. The King of Wands also speaks of someone who is highly passionate at this time and someone who is driven to succeed through the heart, someone who is highly creative and multifaceted. You, through the creative and imaginary realms here, the imagination void, you're able to pull of abundance of flow. Of, I'm getting a flow of ideas, a flow of business ideas are coming into you at this time. You're being crowned. Mm hmm you're leaving a workplace, you're leaving a relationship here. Someone has their back turned against you here, even though you're helping them is what I'm getting. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Six of Swords here. What I'm picking up is you are moving to higher waters, calmer waters, higher ground, higher levels is what I'm hearing. Six of Swords is not dealing with the mental constraints anymore. Yeah. No more mental constraint. Could be speaking to a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising here as well. Four of Pentacles is also Capricorn and Virgo energy. Yeah, that was at 155. So you're going through a change at this time financially and in your reputation. This could be at work, the company you work for, a certain pivotal you plan to reach. You did not only reach it, you surpassed it. So you're creating a foundation here. Four of Pentacles is having more than enough to create the empire I just heard Empress, wow. The empire that you have been craving, have you that you've been working hard for, that you've been desiring here. Spirit says there's nothing wrong with this. You come into this realm to show the world how to use the resources here, period. Because Capricorn's affirmation is I use, but you don't use others, you use resource, period. Yep, you don't use others, you use resources here. You use the knowledge around you. You're going through a major closing out of a cycle and a brand new occurrence is happening in your life of positive energy, you are protected to do so here. You could have went through a death phase within the ego or within the mind here, Capricorn. I'm speaking to someone who also has some Leo energy. This is Aquarius energy here. This is Scorpio energy. We all know Scorpio rises in spiritual rank and goes to the ego spirit animal here, which is a bird's eye view of absolutely everything in the world here. And then we also have Taurus. So we have double Taurus energy coming up. So you could be a Taurus, someone arising. But what I'm picking up here is you went from a lack mindset. You went from a mindset of even feeling like you had to hold on to the small resources you had at the time. You were being restricted at the time to learn a lesson. But Saturn is restricting these, is, is not restricting, but uncovering these restrictions for you. And what's happening here with the world is there's an eye or a couple of eyes on you at this time. I just heard fixated on your energy. This could be a positive or negative outcome in terms of if, if you want eyes on you at this time. You could be a Capricorn that does not really want eyes on you at this time because you're trying to move, you know, low key. But spirit is saying you can't be low key anymore with this big energy you hold. You're being put in the limelight here. This could be online. This can be a book that you wrote. This can be a clothing line that you own, a jewelry line. I'm, I'm getting someone who's highly creative. Uh, you could own a bookstore. You could own a car shop. You could be into cars or you could be writing a book here, but you're going to be known for these endeavors that you've been embarking on because God placed them in your heart is what I want you to know, Capricorn. I was called to hop on and give you a message, so I hope this resonates. Make sure to only take what's yours and leave the rest, but I do know I don't have to leave too many disclaimers for Capricorns because y'all are so incredibly intuitive. It is insane how intuitive y'all are. Spirit, let's clarify all this. King of Wands here. Let's clarify King of Wands here. I hope you're doing well, Capricorn. The Virgo moon yesterday was pretty tough. 
So if you felt like you had a sleepless night, it's just because certain things were being burned off of your subconscious and you were uh, also anchoring in energy here. The Virgo moon is going to affect a Taurus or Capricorn heavier than it's going to affect any other sign other than Virgo as well. So you definitely could have had a restless night uh, during the Virgo moon here, but that's because there was an awakening within your spirit and in the spiritual realm. It can only really ignite when you're asleep. That's when God really knows the world is at a calmer pace, so God can work their mysterious magic here. We have the Page of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries here. Same energy coming up under the King of Wands here. So you are going on a brand new journey. You could have dark hair. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be rather tall or people could say you're, you look like you're taller because you stand up more firm. Your chest is out, your chin is up, you're confident where you're going. Yeah, 55 here on the duration clock. These changes are happening rapidly at this time, but it's bringing in positive energy for all the lack that you were experiencing. And that's why this lack mindset here was something that you struggled with, always feeling like you didn't have enough. So you had to always keep moving here with the Six of Swords. You always had to move away from relationships, cities, people, because there was just constantly restrictions based on your relationships, you know? But this is going to be freeing up, and you're already feeling this. You're already feeling this opening from the universe for the world to turn its eye towards you. You are healing Capricorn. I'm talking to a Capricorn masculine and feminine here who has been working on their body or their health or eating the nutritious foods that offer your body value capricorn you're worried about value at this time you're going on a new mission here i do see mountainous ranges here so you could be going on a hike as well and discovering more about yourself with spirit on this hike or if it's not a hike you're going to be spiritually going on some sort of a mission here and even though there might be some treacherous mountains you're going to climb them like it ain't nothing because capricorn does this period is what i heard Six of Swords here, Ancestors of the Highest White Light. Let's get it. Under the Six of Swords here, yeah, Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Like I said, you're moving to calmer waters here. See how the waters are calm and this, this divine masculine here is being depicted rowing the boat here. Even though someone is, has their, their back turns towards them, even though people aren't helping you as they are on your ship. Take this if it resonates. As people are on your ship riding your boat, you're the one rowing the boat and doing all the work and applying it. Yes, yeah, 737. This is your divine purpose to be that anchor here, to be that push, to be that propel, is what I heard, to be able to propel forward. Anyone who is on your ship here, I'm getting don't grow bitter because these people might need that trip, even though they don't know how to appreciate the work and the help and the ability you have here. Mm-hmm. With the Page of Cups here, you could be finding this out through your intuition. Spirit has been letting you know certain people around you don't really value you at this time. So you're now understanding that this value has to come from the self. And you're now re-examining, wait, what are my values? What are the qualities I have? And what am I going to stand for moving forward? That's the energy that I'm getting here. With this Page of Cups here, you are very intuitive. But you could have recently been in a flub of emotions lately, maybe uh, being reactive at, at some point this week or last week. And this is because certain parts of your life that you felt you healed were still brewing up here during Pisces season. And this is just being reflected back to you to heal on a deeper level because there is a deepening happening within your heart. The energy is positive for you, Capricorn. We got Pisces energy. Number two in Major Arcana, you are a high priest, high priestess, Capricorn. You have psychic ability, and Spirit has been letting you know that you have a very important role here. You have a very important role, Capricorn. With the high priestess here, you are somebody who has ancient secrets of the universe here, of the cosmos. You stand between the veil of light and dark here, and you understand the teeter-totter between yin and yang here. I'm just getting ebb and flow of yin and yang. These energies, masculine and feminine, reside within you so balanced that maybe you come off androgynous to people or you confuse people because of your type of energy. And that was actually in a, in a reading that I did personally, and then I kept hearing that too. A lot of Capricorns in general, a lot of people at this time that are light workers are confusing the crap out of anyone who isn't in that vibration, but you aren't to explain yourself. You are to be yourself. 
I heard just be. Because when you are just sitting in your, I heard sitting pretty, <laughs> in your appointed position here. See how the moon, the crescent moon here represents uh, divine feminine energy here. Subconscious here. You have that 1010 here on the, on the duration clock. So you could be seeing 1010 a lot or 222. But with this moon crescent here underneath the high priestess, what I'm getting is you are very connected to the phases of the moon or the Virgo moon that just passed could have been very significant to you. You could have had a powerful dream last night on the Virgo moon or if whenever you're watching this. You could have had a powerful dream about your identity. You could be having a lot of dreams about water. You could be having a lot of dreams about being in the ocean, tidal waves, tsunamis. This is that Pisces energy. This, these are certain raging waters that have been within you that were suppressed here, but now they are being sparked back up so they can, you know, get some loving and attention here. So there's nothing wrong is what I'm getting with these waters coming back up here. Maybe I'm picking up on some Capricorns who felt they took steps back in their healing, but really you're in the exact place you're supposed to be. Yeah, you're an ultimate manifester with the magician card here. Gemini energy and Aries energy here. What I'm picking up on as the high priestess came to clarify the four of pentacles, you know that you're destined for greatness and you know you're destined to have a foundation of success and you know you're destined for millions. You know you're destined for lots of energy sent your way that can benefit you in life. You know it, Capricorn. You know this. This is why the world is now giving you the tools. One thing about the world card here is what I wanted to explain earlier is that all of these fixed signs here, these are the fixed signs of the zodiac here. They carry, they're the gatekeepers of knowledge here. They represent that. They're immovable. You can't move a fixed sign. Once they have their mind and their heart fixed on a passion or a drive here, you can't move them. But see, Capricorn, you have the equivalent of all of that energy in one at this time. So there could be a Taurus, there could be a Leo, there could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio that is extremely either, either attracted to you or they're attracted to you in an essence of your mission. And they just want to come in and make sure they can help you in any way, shape or form. I'm hearing accept help. It will increase your financial flow and your creative flow. Help is always good. Let's clarify the world spirit. Yes, three of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is the card of help. If you're a Capricorn, then you know what the three of pentacles is. This is cooperation. This is my contract card, signing checks, signing papers here, getting the help from two masculines here as they're watching you create your work. This can be any work. You can be a, a, a sculpt artist here. You could be a painter. You could be highly involved in the museum industry here, the, the art museum industry, or you could be someone who is renowned for your work. I'm getting that you're very powerful with your hands. You know how to paint, you know how to write, you know how to use your hands in a powerful way. Maybe you're a healer of some sort. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're definitely a healer of some sort. Capricorn with this three of pentacles here. I'm getting the holy trinity here of some way, shape, and form. Just getting trinity. Holy Spirit is telling me trinity, trinity. Maybe your name is Trinity, or maybe you are understanding the power of three. I heard power of three will set you free. Wow, that's awesome. So what I'm getting here is there's two masculines who definitely know you have the power to create on your own, but they want you to do it in an effortless way that caters to your desires here. People are starting to realize you've always been consistent, always been, I heard, that bitch. <laughs> That guy, that gal, that person that always came through. Yeah, the subconscious mind here with cancer. But this also represents the moon. So this is the moon. So something about cancer energy, sun, moon arising here. But what I'm picking up on is you are coming into an understanding of your past lives and you're understanding the karma that you dealt with in this life was clearing. You went through a karmic clearing recently and you went through an energetic clearing of your aura so you were clearing past life trauma. You were clearing trauma from the past in this life. You were clearing trauma for your mom. You are the anchor is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And with this cancer energy, you're feeling very introverted right now. Or you're feeling like an ebb and flow of wanting to be out. Yeah, one, four, four, four. And then wanting to stay inside here because you absorb energy so fucking easily, of course. 
Of course, you don't want to be around too many energies that don't have themselves aligned at this time. But with this Cancer Energy Spirit, what is this here? Can we clarify? Mm-hmm. So we have 33 coming out in your reading. I'll talk about that in a second. We got the Three of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You are in contemplation of moving on or moving forward. Mm -hmm. This is definitely what you are thinking about, and you're going to be deciding to move forward. If you're not in the timeline that is that is here and you're getting into this energy, make sure to know that when you take this trip or you take this initiative or you make this energetic shift, take this leap with faith. God wants you to take this leap into your new life with faith here. There could be things coming up from the past, things coming up from your old friendships. I'm hearing all that doesn't serve you anymore. That's just distraction energy here because people do see how powerful you are at this time. Your consistency has lasted for this long. I'm hearing 10 years. I also heard 10 decades. Maybe your entire family is a family of Capricorns. I know I have literally a family of, full of Capricorns. I have like four cousins who are born in the same week as me in Capricorn season. I have a little brother who's a Capricorn. I have aunties, uncles who are Capricorns. Like maybe you could have a lot of Capricorn energy around you here is what I'm picking up on. Maybe you're dating one as well here. I heard it takes two to tango. But what I'm picking up on is you're gripping onto one part of your reality while you are possibly ignoring two other essences of, of energies that need attention. So spirit is saying to give attention to the people that love you here. Mm -hmm. Give more attention to the people that love you because the more you give your love here, the more spirit is able to unlock love within yourself. But if you do feel that you're in an introverted place and it's not in your heart or your energetic, you know, in your energetic field right now to be giving energy, then I honestly suggest to pray, meditate and study whatever makes you feel good at this time. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to give spirits message. So take what resonates, leave the rest, flip flop the rose according to your situation here. If you do want a personal reading, I'm closing my books on Wednesday for a little while. So make sure to hit me up before and I got your reading back to you quick. Yeah, this is the truth. This entire reading is the truth. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. You're being provided with clarity, not only through this reading, but you're being provided with clarity through spirit at this time. People are coming in to communicate to you that your importance. People are coming in to communicate to you how important you've always been to their journey. I just heard desire. People desire to be your friend again. People that lost you desire to find you again. But here you are traveling to the top here because you're royal with this crown here. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And you're royal because of the way you think. I heard practicality. You will review something over and over and over. I just heard idealist. You review all details is what I heard. Let's clarify this spirit. I'm going to pull from another deck as well, Capricorn. Really wanted to do a reading for you today, so I'm glad I could get it out. We got eight cups here. Eight of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Lots of Cancer energy and Scorpio and Pisces energy here. You've got double Cancer energy and you've got double Pisces and you've got double Taurus here. Mm -hmm. as well as you've got a lot of Leo Sagittarius Aries. So take what resonates, leave what's yours here. It's a collective message. You're moving on. You've been contemplating, but you're, you're moving on here. I'm about to show you. You're taking the hint from spirit and you're moving forward. This is you in contemplation mode. You could be here now or you're past this. And this is you taking the initiative to move forward mentally, spiritually, and then this is going to ground down into the emotions and physical. But the Eight of Cups speaks of expansion. See these treacherous mountains here? They're not treacherous for you. They're fun. I heard hiking. <laughs> when people think they're being challenged, you get that same challenge. You're like, this is just a hike for me. I've been here before. Let me show you how to gracefully climb the mountain is what I'm hearing. You're stepping out of the waters here and stepping into your journey. Something about this angelic field you have there. I'm getting this angelic energy and this radiance that covers you. You may not see the angels, but they're here radiating over your crown chakra and your life. That's what I'm picking up on at all times. I'm getting Archangel Michael in my third eye. This is beautiful. You are moving forward. I am getting this feeling of like wanting to sneeze. Maybe you have allergies at this time. Spirit says um, that could be a sign to rest more if you need to rest. Spirit's even telling me the same too. 
Yeah, the Seven of Swords here. There could be an Aquarius moon in your experience at this time. This is the card of the Aquarius moon, but this is also Libra and Gemini. Seven of Swords here is Spirit doesn't want you to be too strategic. Spirit doesn't want these people who have been deceitful as well to win. And they won't. They think they got away. They can't. They can't because you're the truth. You vibrate at the truth. People think they can steal your truth. People think they can steal your ideas. People think they can steal your sword here of truth. No, you carry the blue flame. That's what I heard. You do. And that's on what? Period. New deck. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's at the top. Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. You're going to be in reciprocation mode. So everything that you've given out to the universe is being returned to you. I'm talking about since you were a child. Six of Pentacles is also Virgo energy. So under this Virgo moon, six represents the sixth house. Sixth house in astrology is service, work. It's I'm a sixth house stellium, by the way. So this is work towards humanity learning how to break the restrictions within the workspace in a way that's creative, in a way that's authentic, in a way that you are not going to be taking the bullshit anymore. I heard rules that don't even make sense. Maybe that's what you're feeling. Like there's certain rules that are being implemented on you in life or in general that don't even make sense here. And that's why you came to reform, reshape here. The bottom of the deck, we have third eye chakra here, no bullshit, and it says clear sight. Your third eye chakra here is lit up. Mm -hmm. for, some of you carry the purple flame is what I'm hearing. Let's see what the angelic guides have for you here. This is my personal deck here that I pray for. And it's a very, very specific. And it's usually spot on. It's been spot on 10 out of 10 times. So signs and synchronicities. You could be seeing the numbers 12, 12. I know these two look the same, but it's 1, 2, 1, 2. 1111, you could be seeing 1212, 1111, or you could be seeing lots of zeros like 101, 202, 707, 808, 909. We see numbers like that. You could be also seeing 33 because 12 breaks down to 3, and then the other 12 is 33 here. So this is signs and synchronicities. You're being asked to trust the synchronicities at this time. Capricorn, one of your superpowers in this realm is the power of synchronicity. You have the power to simply see it. You have the power to simply see it. This is why people don't understand how, how in, innate this intuitive power you have is and why you're always able to walk away because you just know is what I heard. You just know. You just know how to walk away from these deceitful ass energies here. You carry the truth here. Your sort of truth is not one to be fucked with is what I heard. And those that don't like, you know, my language... I'm sorry, this is me, I gotta be me here. Find a new reader, I love you so much, but I have to be myself here. I cannot minimize my energy for anyone new or returning here. So I hope that you worry about the message here rather than the messenger. <laughs> Cause I look crazy today, y'all. This Virgo moon did not let me sleep. I slept the best that I could. I took me some melatonin here. I did my little prayer. But yeah, I was getting too many downloads. So let's see what Spirit has for you. I am being called to talk about the number 33 like earlier. Y'all know I won't forget. We've got 33 three showing up here. So this is 33. Three. You could be seeing the numbers 33 or 66. Once again, you could be seeing the numbers 33 or 66 heavily at this time. This is to show you that the Ascended Masters and your guides are guiding you heavily towards a certain truth. And you're going to walk into a path here that's going to open up a portal for your side of the world. Because Capricorns have that ability to anchor in new knowledge, ancient knowledge. You, you're the anchor is what I heard. I've been telling Capricorns this for a while, but you're anchoring something special for spirit. And this is why you're being rewarded for always being resilient and always trusting that God really had a purpose for you. I heard God's plan. Beautiful. What is this about God's plan, spirit? Whoa, God's plan here. 777, divine blessings. God plan, God's plan is for you to have divine blessings, Capricorn. 777 energy. 777 breaks down to 21. You have 21 here. This is the world card and, it, and the world is 21 in major arcana. And 777 energy is here to show you that this is your energy. These divine blessings here, things turning in your favor. Spirit wants you to accept that this isn't a game and this isn't a trick. You are meant to have these divine blessings. Comment down below. My divine blessings are here. 
comment down below the numbers that you see. You have one, you have 11, 11, 12, 12, 000, 777, and 33 showing up in your reading. Bottom of the deck here, Aquarius energy. You could be an Aquarius sun, moon, or rising here too. But like I said, I picked up on an Aquarius moon, remember? Seven of swords is the Aquarius moon deacon in original tarot here. I go by the rules and then I don't, <laughs> is what I just heard. That's so interesting that I heard that. Yeah, inner child trauma. You're healing in inner child trauma. That's what's allowing you to release. It's interesting because we have 333 showing up and I just said you could be seeing 33 or 222 in the beginning and we have 222 here. So you could be seeing 333 or 222 here. It says inner child trauma. So you're healing some inner child trauma here. I'm being called not to keep that energy on the table though. That's interesting that spirit is like, nope, take that shit off. <laughs> Tell them, but don't leave that on the table because you're healing it. It's not something that's going to stay is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you could be an Aries sun here or an Aries rising. It says big Aries and there's a money sign here. So you're heading into a new career or you're taking an initiative that's going to propel you forward here with some firepower. It says broken hearts take time. That's beautiful. If you've had your heart broken or you've broken someone's heart or you have been in this um, state of festering up frustration, festering up sadness of some sort because of this broken heart. You are healing this. Like I said, you're healing this. This is broken hearts take time. I'm called to pull two more before we go back to uh, tarot. So yeah, the signs and the synchronicities here are aligning for you, Capricorn. You've got divine blessings on the way. You've got this Aries energy. Remember, we're going into Aries season very soon. So something about airy season is going to be very special for you. You're going to see things moving like never before is what I just heard. Like literally never before Capricorn. If this reading resonates and you want a personal, just let me know. I'm going to read for a couple of these, okay? Keep your head up. You are worthy and important. I'm picking up on a Libra energy. It says Empress. So you could be the Empress or an Emperor. This is lovely Libra here. So you're being asked to, so we got Libra and Aries energy now, Aries sun, Aries rising. And then we got Libra, lovely Libra, the Empress, connect. You are asked to connect here with this three of pentacles. You are going to come into very specific connections that will prepare you forward into the future, into the future you've been manifesting. It's already existing here somewhere. You're just aligning with it. So this lovely Libra energy is you're going to be connecting with others on a loving level. Venus energy, because now we have Libra and Taurus energy here. So you could be uh, very, very, very connected to Venus or something about Venus. Yeah, we have a Gemini here. Not all of these zodiac signs come out all the time. So the fact that we have all these energies here, there's a lot of Capricorns with different energies. This is beautiful. Comment if these are your energies. We got Gemini, breathe, create. Like I said, we pulled the magician or it came out earlier because you're in this Gemini energy of master manifesting here and you're speaking, you're, you're speaking out more mm -hmm, is what I'm hearing. But this keep your head up, you are worthy and important. This is to remind you that you have always been someone worthy. You were born worthy. You were born for this time. I'm picking up on scholastic blessings. It says work smarter, not harder. So work smarter. Scholastic blessings here. If you go to school, you're in college or some sort of, if you're getting some sort of master degree, PhD, anything, you are going to be receiving these blessings here. Spirit is going to be holding you up in high honor because of your hard work. You have worked for this your whole life. You literally got divine blessings, 777, scholastic blessings, work smarter, period. Let's go back to... Your reading, it says negative thoughts, negative outcomes. So keep those negative thoughts away. Keep the positive thoughts flowing in. And when the negative thoughts come, let them sit. Understand why they're there. Talk to yourself. Love yourself. Give yourself a hug. And then lovingly let it go. And we all let go of energies in different ways. Just do so healthily is what I'm hearing from your ancestors. So we're going to channel a small ancestor message right now for the Capricorns here. Ancestors of Capricorn, at this time I invite you here of the highest white light only, only ancestors of the highest white light, by the way, I invite you to give me some insight for my Cappies here, my Capricorns who are here watching. You got three of pentacles coming out again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I'm telling y'all, 
Rose is not playing no games. You have 333 now showing up in your reading. You've got 333 showing up in your reading, literally. What I want to let you know here with this double Three of Pentacles energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, is you are definitely going to come into a contract, a new part of your life here where people are going to assist you. Your ancestors want you to know that this is your inheritance. Yeah, this shit's coming in fast. Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There could be a fire sign that definitely has their eye on you at this time too. They just think you're fire as well. But with the Knight of Wands here, I'm picking up on you're moving quick, you're moving fast, faster than ever before. You could be very connected to Egypt or certain pyramids. I'm also getting Mexico City. You could be channeling in Mexico City here and I'm picking up on your energy. You could be of Mayan descent. My ancestors are Mayan descent and African descent as well. Mm -hmm. Literally, my ancestors are from Atlantis. <laughs> I literally said that in my DNA results. It's like, uh, your ancestors are from Atlantis, bro. <laughs> I check them. Because <laughs> I go by multiple pronouns here. Maybe you go by other pronouns. Maybe you've been struggling here in your life with understanding who you are here. And you're finally understanding. I don't even have to explain myself. I just got to be me. Period. Three of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting gossip energy, but what's new? We've got three, 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 three showing up here. All these threes. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing but three showing up for you, Capricorn. This is amazing. Wow. What I'm picking up on here, let me show you this, is you are catapulting yourself forward by following the beat of your own drum here. You're wearing what you want to wear. You're walking and stepping the way you step. I heard pep in your step. Mm -hmm. People know you're coming when you walk through the door here. They look at you like this, like, mm, she's here, they're here, he's here. Capricorn's here. Yep, I'm here is what I'm hearing. With this Three of Cups energy, this is also cooperation. I'm picking up on a positive note as well, that people are looking at you in an essence, but and maybe they're not in an essence gossiping, but they're like, ugh. How does she, how does he, how do they just come in every time and they look younger? How do they come in and their skin looks even better? Because you're healing. Tell them I'm healing, girl. I'm healing, bro. That's why. Heal too and you'll look great. That's what Capricorn's doing. Telling people like, you heal too and you'll look great. Can we clarify Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Three of Cups before we end this reading? Spirit. Alrighty, so to clarify, Three of Pentacles here, we have the Ace of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You're being provided with help. You're being provided with new energy, new creative flow, new ideas here. Spirit is going to be taking you on a brand new ride is what I heard. This is at 3303 here. Perfect. So 333 energy for sure. Lots of family time is what I just heard. Lots of time for yourself. Yeah, we got double, double Pisces energy showing up. We've got the High Priestess showing up in my other deck here. So you could be seeing 22 or 222, like I said. So this is Pisces energy. You could heavily be a Pisces here as well. You are the high priestess. You are the high priest. You are the motherfucking truth. And I mean it. And when I cuss, I mean it. I don't play no games. I don't play no games. Go to my videos. And I won't play games in any of those either. <laughs> And this is the energy I'm picking up from you because you don't play games, because you teeter in the wheel, right? In the veal is what I'm getting as well. And you understand light and you understand dark and you understand how to alchemize everything into love here. This is why you're given the trust and the keys of the cosmos, Capricorn. I heard you are and always will be the truth, period. Three of cups, seven of cups. Like I said, I was picking up on that gossip energy or that dreamy energy of people understanding at this time, like, look at Capricorn, they got so many decisions. Look at Capricorn, they can decide what they want to do. Here, these people are worried about you and what you have, and that's why they'll never have it because they're worried outside of themselves. And you're not, you're worried about your own journey right now. You're trying to clear, clear the haziness so you can see what's really yours. Seven of Cups also speaks of making decisions too quickly and not making the decisions based off of the prettiness that you see up front. I'm going to pull one more card here and we'll end your reading, Capricorn. 
If this resonates, please comment and like here. Yep, you're gonna receive some information. Eight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You're gonna see, receive and see some information here that's going to bring in a new idea. And this idea has a lot to do with your financial states increasing. You, you received a higher rank in the spiritual realm as if you could even go higher, Capricorn. You went higher. <laughs> And now your karma is clearing, your energy is clearing, and you're stepping into your purpose. Could be seen 88. We have 88 showing up. That's the number of Saturn. Eight, look it up, is the number of Saturn, the number of karma. You're clearing it. This fire energy is clearing it. Your aura is clear is what I heard. You are the high priestess, high priest, the truth, the psychic, the intuitive, the oracle. You are that and some. Have a great day, Capricorn. I love you. What a powerful message. And I hope this blesses you. Have a great day. Peace.